in working with business owners over the last 13 years or so, what I've found, and in owning and running my own businesses over the years, what I've found is that there's sort of four buckets of things that we, that, 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 that we need to consider. And it needs to spell something. I had a pretty good thing. So it actually spells epic. And the first thing that I think to be a success in business or in life is you have to, you have to, edu you have, to have education. You have to educate yourself. So John Maxwell calls it the law of the lid. If you're here, your business can only go to here. Okay, so you've got to continuously, if you want your business to be better, you've got to become better. Does that make sense? So there's a lot of ways to do that. I'm not gonna get into all those ways. It's in my book, but uh, you know, if anybody wants that, that's fine. P stands for planning. Gotta have goals, gotta make the plan for next year. Gotta have all the things. I stands for inspiration. I believe in business, you've got to inspire. You've got to inspire yourself. You've got to inspire your clients or customers or patients or whatever you call them. You've got to inspire your vendors. You've got to enroll and inspire people. Does that make sense? Okay. And C stands for commitment. Now there is a whole laundry list of things under commitment. There's discipline, habits, a whole bunch of stuff. It's, it's probably 10 or 12 things, and I'm not gonna get into all that today, but just to suffice it to say that if you work in those four areas of your, of your life and improve it just a little bit, then you're going to end up being more successful. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. So I just wanted to go over that. It's become kind of a tagline. All right. So I need your permission to coach you a little bit. Is that okay with everybody? Is that, let me see a show of hands. Is that okay? Is that not okay with anybody? Are you guys sure? All right. So we've got a form here. It's the uh, pass them around both ways. Okay. It's and you can pass those too. It's the Army Ranger HR form. Okay, so I'll let I'll let them get around before I go over it. Let me have one of them. Because sometimes when we coach people, we have to get real with them. We have to tell them how it is. And so this form is just in case if somebody's feelings get hurt. <laughs> So, and you're free to use it in your own businesses, you're free to use it with the people that work with you or for you. So you might want to look it over. So it starts out by asking what the whiner's name is. <laughs> and then the whiner's age and the type of wine used. And the one I like the best is, for how long did you high, you know, whine? Which feelings were actually hurt? And uh, which ear were the hurtful words spoken into? So, yeah. So y'all enjoy that, it's kind of a fun thing. You can read it a little bit later. So we are gonna do a little bit of coaching. We're gonna do a little bit of teaching this morning. And then um, if you, can, did you, did you pass this around? Good. Okay, does everybody have a blank, the blank paper yet? Don't have it? Okay, get a, get, just get a blank piece of paper. Or if you've got a piece of paper, a notebook or something you take notes in, that's fine too. It's cool. I got it coming both ways. Yeah. All right, so what I want you to do is draw this. If you can't see that, I'll pass it around. It's just a ladder. And what I'm going to share with you this morning is what I call the entrepreneur's ladder. Okay, and some of you may have seen it. Some of you may. Has everybody got it? Is there, You guys may want to go around to where you can actually see this. It's going to be pretty important to see it. Okay? So if you want to drag your chairs around that way or, or whatever, there's not much I can do with the... I, I, don't, I can't go back any further. <laughs> yeah. All right. Has everybody got a piece of paper? Everybody sort of got something drawn? Looks kind of like this. Perfect. All right. So when you start out in life, we all start out as... A student. All right, what's a student? Hello? Someone who, it's, it's, it's someone who actually pays to learn. Does, it, does, that, does that make sense? If, you're, you know, if, you, if you go to college, you actually pay to learn. Or if you take a course, you... So we're all students. Is that, is that fair? Okay. Because we've all got to learn. And then generally, as you progress in your career, you become...
an employee. Now, what's an employee? Somebody works for somebody else, somebody what? Gets paid? Yeah. An, an employee, in my mind, is someone who gets paid to learn. Okay, if you're on a, if you're on a track of, of, of being an entrepreneur or an investor, then you're going to, you're eventually, you get, you, this the, one, one of the reasons to be an employee is to get, because you, you're going to learn. I mean, who's had, a, who's had a great employer? Or who still has a great employer? Well, you've learned tons, right? Does that make sense? Okay. So that, to me, if you're an employee, that you should be taking advantage of all that. One of the mistakes I made in my career was I just took the education that came to me rather than getting the self-education. Does that make sense? And when I got on that path, things changed. Now, then we become, what would it be after an employee? Self-employed. Now, I want to point out that this ladder is both physical and mental. So you can be in one place physically, but be in another place mentally. Okay? So, self-employed is an interesting place to be because what? You're everything in your business. Okay? You're doing everything. So this is what, so, so self-employed looks a bit like a seesaw. Okay, sell the work, do the work. Sell the work, do the work. So who's in that boat right now? Okay, a few of you, good, okay, it's okay. By the way, you can stop on this ladder wherever you want to. I'm just gonna give you the full ladder. Is that, is that fair? Just so you can see the whole ladder. All right, so then you end up employing a few people at some point and you become a A manager okay now some of you are at the manager level you have employees but you're still operating like you're self-employed is that is that fair okay okay now this is what a manager generally looks like the manager level generally looks like this <laughs> while you're running around in circles putting out the fires that generally the people that work for you have created. Okay, does that make sense? See, most people think when they get to be self-employed, they're an entrepreneur. Not, not, that's not my definition. It could be your definition, I'm okay with your definition, but my definition is that you're just self-employed and then you become a manager. Then you become, now at the manager level, here, we'll just write up the next level and then we'll talk about it in a minute. This is where you become a business owner. Now let's talk about what the definition of a business is. What's the definition of a business? You might want to write this down then. Yeah, what do you got? Enterprise that will operate without That's right. A commercial, profitable enterprise that works without you. Now, if you don't want to get to the without you, see, now look, listen to that definition. Commercial enterprise that's profitable, some people miss that one, that works. That means the enterprise works, not necessarily the business owner, 24-7. And then without you, that's the one. And if you want to get there, fine. If you don't, I'm okay with that. There's plenty of people who never want to get there. It's okay. We don't, we don't you know, very few businesses actually get there. Now. At the manager level, what would you be working on in your business? Mostly. Systems. This is where you're going to put systems in place so that eventually you can employ people to run them for you. At this level, if you're going to ever have a business that's going to work without you, then you've got to work on team to run the systems. You got to, it doesn't mean you don't have team here. You can have team at any level on here. It just means where the focus is. If you get systems in your business, then you can bring on team to work for them. Then you move on to investor.
okay? Where you're inve generally investing in other businesses, you may be investing in, some of you are, in, some of you are investors in one of your business and maybe even an employee or self-employed in another business, you have multiple business. If, you're, if you have an investment business, then that's a separate business and you need to look at it differently. Is that, is that, is that fair? Okay, so I have an investment business that invests in other businesses. Okay, and then eventually you become an entrepreneur. Which means you're probably investing in multiple businesses, you're using other people's money generally, a lot of times as an entrepreneur. Investor usually using your own money. Does everybody kind of see the path? Questions about the path? No questions? If you have a question, by the way, why don't you write it on a piece of paper and I'll try to take them later. Maybe I can answer them. Or maybe you got a specific question about your business you want to chat about. We can do that. But if you write it down, then I can, then I can, I'll, I can pick and choose the ones that make the most sense. So did I hurt anybody's feelings yet? No. Good. All right. So that's the path that we take people through. So here's a question for you. On your ladder, what you want to do is write down where you are and where you want to be. If you're, you're self-employed and want to stay self-employed, great. That's up to you. For us, it doesn't matter where you are. There's, we have a program for everybody on this ladder. If, you, if you're an employee and want to move to self-employed, great. We can help you with that. You're a manager, want to be a business owner, excellent. You want to be in, you're a business owner, want to become an entrepreneur, great. We can help you with that. And that's sort of our deal. So we have an event on December the 7th. It's called, Beverly's going to pass it around. It's called Growth Club. Um, and it's how to make next year the best year ever. So how to make 2019 better than 2018. So how many of you would like to have a better year next year than this year? Good. Great. Then this is for you. Okay, take a look at it, set it on. Now I'm gonna make an offer that I usually only give to my clients. So here's the offer. It's, t it's 295 bucks to come for the day. It's 8.30, it's all day. If you, you, know, there's a, you know, if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. But that's not, the, that's not the offer. The offer is if you come and you bring a business owner, now the definition of, that I'm gonna give for a business owner right now is somebody who's got employees with you, you both can come for free. Okay, you just got to call Beverly and let her know who you're bringing and they got to show up. 